check it out. Probably hang somewhere around here. Back to the hammock set up after dinner. It says it's nine degrees outside and thirty. I knew it'd be chilly, but I didn't realize it would be snowing as well. So probably pushing this uh, tadpole tarp to its its limits. I had this great uh, tan poncho or a rain jacket uh, sort of tucked on this side so I was fine on this end but uh, and even last night it's just started snowing this morning so um, I really don't want to be lounging around in the hammock I'm gonna head down to the shelter and then uh, eat pack it out so all right back at base camp here 11 degrees outside Uh, a few final thoughts is that uh, I was in a hammock and um, man it was so windy swinging that was my main concern all night was having a tree fall on me so glad I survived that see you next time Lonesome Lake. Oh yeah. Come on, I had to guess so you're here for like two <laughs> Do you guys do twelve days on, twelve days? Is no, it's seven and seven. Seven and seven. We weren't expecting much sun, but it's out. And it's about 40 degrees. This must be the summit marker, a South Kinsman. Just did that 0.9 miles in about 15 minutes. Booking it, booking it. Here's the setup tonight. Got my stuff covered because we're getting some light snow. It's supposed to clear out soon. Taking another gamble here, but I think it'll be fine. View of the camp. Woo. Scotty's jet ball. Yeah, lunch champions. Here's dinner. Got some mashed potatoes, steak on the fire.
down to about low 20s last night and this uh, Phoenix did a good job it was plenty warm it out. See you next time. Hey, it's a pretty part of the trail. We're kind of getting near the ridge, which is the Carter Mariah Trail. Tell you. It's 4.30, just hit the Carter Mariah Trail. Yeah, which is the Appalachian Trail, so it's always a plus. Here's the crib for the night. Another hammock gear product, Burrow 20. Find the emblem, there it is. few tent sites I think there's four tent sites water is you know 75 yards that way nice little look out there and shelter sweet sell your mini I have two packs of this star kissed and extra virgin olive oil these are good because they have 180 calories 190 calories where the other ones the tuna salad has 100 so more bang for your buck there and this is some repackaged pasta sides up we just we've decided that we're gonna head back the way we came up the Carter Mariah Trail to go over North Carter and then uh, we'll determine what we do from there. So full on rock climbing here.
Alright, there's the presidential range there. Uh, rough conditions, but you know, we hit two 4,000 footers off the list and uh, hit another 4,000 footer Carter, a North Carter that's not on the list that was really treacherous, but uh, fun hike. Definitely would uh, wait a few weeks before we came back out and let all this ice and snow melt. What do you think? Thanks for coming along. See you next time. Spot in the car. AMC Highland Center. Now we're heading over to Appalachia. Stay the night. Start hiking tomorrow. Stay tuned. Yeah, my, my first late weed tent was gone for you, family. I ended up getting rid of it after the Scott's game. working with here. What is this, Scott? It's Big Agnes. Big Angus, ultra light one. Very nice. For another hundred dollars, you can get one that's six ounces less. Up to. Dude, this buggy. I'm like, can't even set up. Oh yeah, I'm going. See you in the morning. Valleyway tent sites that way. It is 6:35 a.m. We're heading up. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. To the summit. And this is how quiet it is on just the other side of this mountain. Completely different. Washington. It's 10:40 a.m. 3.8 to Washington. There's the Carter Mariah range. That's where we were three weeks ago. And there's Mount Washington right there. Those are the southern presidentials. So we're tagging Washington and we'll be going down that ridge there.
taking a little break here before we tackle Washington 1220. Toe wrapped up. Some water. How you guys doing? Good. <laughs> Scott busting out the shades. That's where we came from. Madison, Adams, and Jefferson. Last stretch to Washington is deceptively long following this cog rail. That was no joke. Lake of the Clouds Hut. Next stop. Next stop. mountain to go. We're here at the end. This is Mount Pierce. I'll add it up later, but roughly 20 miles. You can see Mount Washington straight back that way, which is where we had lunch. Six thirty. We've got a little over two miles back to the car. Everybody's pretty tired at this point. One uh, star of the day was the Patagonia Houdini, <laughs> which everyone has been rocking. <laughs> um, as you saw earlier on in the video, it was pretty dang windy up there on uh, Madison and, and Adams. Awesome piece of gear. We're back to the Crawford Path Trailhead and uh, back to the car we spotted. 14 and a half hours. 9,000 feet of elevation gain. We are spent, but man, what a trip. Prezi Traverse, thanks for coming along. A lot of fun. 
They're pumped. <laughs> See you next time. Leaving the car. So it's Friday night, 8.30. Got up here as fast as I could after work and just gonna hike in a way, set up camp, sleep, and hit it early tomorrow. See you then. It's 9.20. Just got the hammock set up. See you in the morning early. My food bag is behind me. I'm gonna pick that up on the way back to the trail and just make breakfast down the trail a ways. This is my first trip using this Simply Light Designs hammock bug net. I believe it's called the Defender 360. It's back and it cinches by a cord lock at the end of your head end. You loosen that cinch lock and you just... It's the lightest option on the market I could find. There's a few others that arguably are a little bit easier to get in and out of, but... Uh, Alright, picked up the bear bag, which is an Ursac Miner. First time using it on this trip. Nobody tampered with it last night. It was hung about head high off a tree. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to get a quick camel up with a Sawyer Mini and straw. Just made it to the summit of Tom, 7.50 a.m. Incredible views, man. Pack of grits with kind of shredded up some beef jerky I had with me, so. Cheers. Very nice. We are now on the Appalachian Trail. The White Mountains are tough. Rewarding, very rewarding views, but tough vibes. Zekla Trail. Pretty steep. <laughs> Here's camp for the night. That up in semi porch mode. This is the Simply Light Designs bug net. All right, I'm gonna head down to the pond and have dinner and try to catch some fish. I'm 
gonna eat dinner and throw out a few more casts, see what I can do, and get to sleep. It's been a long day. Here's dinner, chili mac with beef, the old standby. Mmm. Good morning, everybody. Saying goodbye to Shoal Pond. Hey, everybody, Sunday morning. I just left my campsite, um, just packed everything up, haven't made breakfast, and started hiking two miles to Ethan Pond Shelter where I was going to try to make it and fish and, and have breakfast but I came across this spot and it was just too good to pass up so I'm going to make a quick cup of coffee and eat some uh, some dry goods here. Starbucks on every corner. I'm a morning person, so I like getting coffee and having an early hike. It's probably my favorite part of the trip. Okay. That's Mount Wiley, or Willie, and that's what I'll be climbing after I take a break at the, at the shelter. One thing I found myself doing a lot on this trail is, is this number here. You can see, especially with the sun, Facing the sun, you can see all the spider webs. So I'm just kind of having a play defense here. Ethan Pond. Just saw a trout strike a fly on the water, so I'm gonna give a fishing a quick go. Nice brook trout there. Getting some light rain. It's pretty just warm, so I'm not gonna put on a rain jacket or a pack cover, which I don't own and I've never used. I just use a compactor bag, so that, that'll be fine for me. Outfield. That about wraps up this trip. Thanks for coming along. Take care, everyone.